the greatest collection of dance hits ever made. You get Funky Chicken by the Chickadelics, Shake Your Tail Feather by Cogburn and the Coops, Got to Get My Talons on You by the artist formerly known as Rooster, Baby 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 by Baby Chick, Oh Baby Baby by Chick Baby, Baby Baby Oh Baby by Baby Baby, I Wear Funny Hats by Weird Al Chikovic, and much, much more. You know the old saying, when the cat's away, the mice will play? But what do chickens do when the farmer goes to town? Well, they have themselves a party. I'm Perry Lilligram, and this is the news. Our long nightmare is finally over. At this hour, the war between the cubes and the soft, squishy things has ended in peace. And it turns out it was all based on a simple misunderstanding. We thought the soft, squishy things, which we now know are called chickens, had kidnapped cubes from our world. But we've now learned that these cubes are not cubes at all. Well, they are cubes, but they're not cube cubes, if you know what I mean. They're food. For a larger squishy thing with split hooves called a cow, I don't pretend to understand it. All I know is the danger is over. Here to explain it is our leader, Cubicles. Silence. Oh, okay, you, you weren't talking. It is I, Cubicles. We have engaged in a great war with the soft, squishy things we know as chickens. I believed that these chickens had imprisoned certain of our kind. This was my bad. Funny story, these were not real living cubes, but stacks of food that looked like cubes. <laughs> like tofu or, or marshmallows. They are called hay bales or hay stacks. They are inanimate, not alive at all. They are eaten by cows, a larger soft squishy thing. So, I almost got us all killed for nothing. Joke's on us. Sorry about that. But all's well that ends well. Can I... Still be your leader? Silence? Well, okay then, but we could have been in danger if we had been in danger. Oh, never mind, I am so out of here. Be on the lookout for this duck. He is presumed armed. I mean, winged. And very dangerous. Flap and peck and flap and peck. And flap and peck. Now scratch. I'm Chicken Little. And I'm Henny Penny. Paca! Once again, presenting the controversial videotape received earlier today. From a mysterious dimension parallel to the Earth, greetings to all round, fuzzy, squishy things. I am Colonel Cubicles, leader of the Bullion. We are speaking to you now to issue an ultimatum. Free the cubes. Free the cubes. Or taste our vengeance. You have 24 hours. We received this tape 23 hours and 50 minutes ago. What does it mean? Our expert joins us. Dr. Carl Cockerell, expert in crowd control and alien invasions. Carl Cockerell, the bullion? Should we be afraid? We should always be afraid, Henny. Whether a threat is real or not, if any stranger enters your area, remember to cluck hysterically, flap your wings, and run around in circles. We're chickens. That's what we do. Thank you, Carl Cockerell. For New Center 12, I'm Henny Penny reminding you, if you want bread, you've got to help bake it. And I'm Chicken Little. The sky is falling. <laughs> I'm
I'm Chicken Little. And I'm Henny Penny. Panic and pandemonium struck a sleepy farm today as odd cube-like creatures snatched up baby chicks seemingly at random. Henny? The number of chickens missing is still unknown. Our inability to count has hindered the effort. Chicken? It all took place here, during the live taping of the popular Mort the Chicken television program. Mort and the wacky gang were apparently in the middle of a good old-fashioned hoedown when disaster struck. Mort the Chicken himself, in an act of bravery or stupidity, leaped down the well after the chicks. Why these cubes took the chicks remains a mystery. And there's an even bigger mystery. Henny? TV's Mort the Chicken. Why would the star of a children's television show leap down a well? Very unchicken-like. What got into him? Is he insane? Is he a hero or in cahoots with these cubes? Joining us for this discussion is Dr. Carl Cockerell, expert in television personality analysis and appropriate barnyard behavior. Dr. Cockerell, Mort the Chicken, help, hindrance, menace, hero? Whatever else he is, Mort is a chicken. As a chicken, he is genetically hardwired for panic. By not panicking, he's betrayed his chicken nature and, by extension, us. If he's part of the problem, in other words, he's a problem. And if he's trying to solve the problem, well, he's still a problem. So if he's helping, he's a problem. And if he's a problem, he's a problem. Exactly. Thank you, Dr. Cockerell. My pleasure. Until our next update, I'm Henny Penny. Don't count those chickens until they're hatched. And I'm Chicken Little. Never cross the road unless you know why. I'm Chicken Little. And I'm Henny Penny. The cube kidnap crisis continues. Joining us live at the barnyard is correspondent Charles Chicken. Charles? This is Charles Chicken reporting live. I don't like being here. I'm frightened. Don't worry, that's normal. What's the situation there? One brave barnyard fowl is going to follow in Mort the Chicken's footsteps. Don't make me! I don't want to go! Chicken Cam exclusive live coverage of the dangerous alternate dimension where our chicks are being held captive. No, please! No! Come on, Mort the Chicken did it. He's insane! No! Better him than me. Can I go home now? Thank you, Charles Chicken. Stay tuned for more live coverage of the ongoing crisis. Until next time, remember, if you're going to flock together, make sure your feathers are similar. And if you have eggs, always put them in more than one basket. That's a rule of thumb. What's a thumb? I don't know. I'm Chicken Little. And I'm Henny Penny. What's it all about? Why are they taking our chicks? Are they as afraid of us as we are of them? Why is the portal to their world at the bottom of a well? Let's get some answers from our resident expert, author of Your Inner Egg, Who Needs to Fly, and The Coop of Tomorrow, Dr. Carl Cockerell. Carl Cockerell, these cubes, our chicks, explanation? Henny, it could be just as simple and harmless as it seems. These cubes have always been down there, shy but curious. When they heard our youngsters laughing and having a good time, maybe they just came up to see what the fuss was about. So why did they kidnap the chicks? Well, maybe they haven't been kidnapped. Maybe they're just having a sleepover. Maybe they made a play date. But what if this well has somehow become a gateway to another dimension? A dimension composed entirely of cubes? That's ridiculous, Henny. If you're going to indulge in random speculation, which is my job, by the way, you might as well say that we're all just images on a screen being manipulated by large featherless bipeds in some kind of video game. How do you like that? Huh? Thank you, Carl Cockerell. Now, back to your regular programming. I'm Chicken Little. And I'm Henny Penny. Today, more baby chicks erupted from the well thanks to Mort the Chicken. Hero, TV star, and dear friend. You and Mort go quite a ways back, don't you, Chicken? Oh, yes, Henny. Gosh, you know it feels like yesterday when we first met. Here at the scene of NASA Propulsion Laboratory, where the ever-so-publicized rocket sled is about to be tested. Joining me live is the test pilot. They call him Mortimer Chicken. Even though you're terrified, Mortimer, you're a better chicken than me. You wouldn't catch me in a rocket sled going 500 miles an hour. Where do you get the guts? Okay, here we go. They're strapping him in. There seems to be a little resistance. Okay, a, a lot of resistance. Mortimer is strapped in, and we're ready to go. I can see the engineers running around. They're almost ready. And there's the countdown. Three, two, one, blast off! There it goes, over 500 miles per hour with the world's bravest chicken at the helm. The force is incredible. Let me tell you, most chickens will be stone cold dead after a ride like that. What a ride. A 
Baby Mort felt so lucky to be alive that nothing scares him anymore. He'll probably be dead soon, but until then, we'll admire him. I think Mort's adorable. I'm Henny Penny. And I'm Chicken Little. Now back to the game. Already in progress. So, Doctor, what part of the chicken does the nugget come from, exactly? Silence! I bring you horrible news. Silence! Through the miracle of fuzzy video, we, that is I, Chubicles, your leader, have learned that a number of our brethren are kept as slaves by the formless, squishy things who live in the universe parallel to our own. They took our cubes. Silence! In retaliation, we took a number of the small, squishy things, which we will keep until the cubes are released. Silence! These squishy things have sent a ruthless commando, known as Mort the Chicken, to rescue these small, squishy things which we have captured. And he has met with some success. Therefore, I, Cubicles, implore you, find this Mort the Chicken. Box on him. Run over him. Roll over him. Smash him. Spin on him. Damage him. Jump on him. Smash him. Smash Mort the Chicken. Mort the Chicken must fly. Silence! I, Cubicles, have spoken. Is Mort, the chicken, any less a chicken for a being, a hero? Maybe it's okay to be brave. saved our chicks. Perhaps he even saved the whole world. Thanks, Mark. <laughs>